This is One on One. We are pleased to be joined by Dr. Sohel Sheikh with St. Joseph Healthcare System. He is a gastroenterologist whose area of expertise is uh, interventional bar bariatric specialty. Yes, that's correct. Interventional bariatrics, endoscopic bariatrics to be specific. Let's talk about this endro, uh, endoscopic gastric sleeve. It's interesting. Not only is it hard to say, it's hard to understand. It's an endoscopic gastric sleeve. That's correct. What is this? And we're going to talk about who's a candidate for it, right? Because it has to do with people who have weight issues, right? Yes, Some that's obesity correct. issues. And I'm curious about this, doctor, the difference between why I would get this sleeve mm -hmm. and why I wouldn't get some other surgery. So what is it? What is a sleeve? And then we'll compare that versus a surgery. Okay, so the interesting part of obesity in this country is unfortunately it's actually more prevalent than hunger. Uh, we have 30% of the United States population is obese, over 60% is overweight. And of the procedures that we do currently, we're only scratching the surface. About 178,000 procedures were done last year. That's only 2% of the population that actually needs the procedure. That leaves another 19 million that don't have anything done, and another 80 plus million who actually need a procedure but don't quite qualify. Why? Well, hold on. For those who aren't getting it, who do qualify, why aren't they getting it? There are a number of reasons why people are afraid of surgery. Um, either financially their difficulties or there can be pain or fear of cutting or fear of complications of surgery. That, used to, that tends to be a strong driver in terms of patients staying away from having an intervention. Now this sleep, talk about it. We're gonna show some video. Jackie, we have some video of it. As we show this video, please talk it through, sure. doctor. not a problem. So a tube or an endoscope, as you can see here, is passed through the esophagus or through your mouth into the stomach and we're basically able to, much like they do with the surgical methods, they're able to limit the volume. Here we place sutures along the anterior, lateral, and posterior wall. And these sutures basically achieve the same goal, which is to reduce the volume of the stomach. Are you shrinking the stomach? Exactly. We're shrinking the stomach to where it's restricted, much like you do during a surgical procedure, except here we do it through the mouth without any cuts from the outside, with minimal to no pain, with a very fast recovery time. Okay, so there's got to be a drastically different recovery period for this versus a more traditional surgery. Yes. Describe it. So these procedures as we do currently, you actually have them the same day and you're either able to go home that night or early the next day. There is no extended stay in terms of two or three days. Uh, the side effects can be a little bit of nausea, which are common to all bariatric procedures, but in general, patients are able to resume their regular activities within three to four days. Well, you know, there's an obvious question. People watching us on public broadcasting, on Fios and other places right now are asking, okay, so why would I ever have surgery if I could do this? I mean, but not everyone's the candidate. So explain that part. That's the part I'm not getting. It. Okay. Who is a candidate for the sleeve? Who's a better candidate for surgery? And how do you know? So everything is decided on a case-by-case -case basis. It really depends on what other medical conditions you have, and that's where the interplay between the endoscopic bariatric physician and or your primary doctor comes into play. There are a number of modalities that are around. Um, you have things like laparoscopic band, you have ruin y gastric bypass, you have sleeve gastrectomy, and now you have these endoscopic options, which are further and further developing over the next years. The benefit of these procedures is that it does take advantage of a natural route, meaning your mouth. So you don't have the possible complications of hernias or wall infection, or even from a cosmetic standpoint, you don't have any cuts from the outside. And the pain benefit is also there. So for patients who are afraid of either being cut or having pain, this is substantially beneficial for them. And there are other patients that qualify as well. Uh, after several operations, say a C-section, or if you had your gallbladder taken out, or other abdominal procedures, those scars or those changes inside your belly may make it more difficult to have a bariatric procedure. There are some people watching us right now who either have had lap band surgery or who know of someone who has actually had lap band surgery and they're saying, wait a minute, am I out because I went this route? No, and that's the benefit for these procedures as well. Because we do them through the mouth in the stomach, depending on what you have had before, whether it's a gastric sleeve or ruin y gastric bypass or even a lap band, we still have further interventions that we're able to supply to these patients regardless of what they've had in the past. When did you get interested in this and why? Um, it, <clears throat> it, uh, it's very personal to me. I had a very close uh, 
one of my family members actually succumb to some of the ailments that come with having an overweight, uh, having a problem with weight. Uh, my mother had, my mother had succumbed to diabetes after uh, a long period of time. And I wish that there was someone there that could have helped her like me. She suffered for a long time. Yes. Had you, you had not made the decision as to, had you made the decision to go into medicine? I was in medicine. I was in training. I was in, uh, I was actually chief of my program and I saw the deleterious effects that being overweight can have and the long stemming effects and how it can cut not only years, but decades off of your life. And had there been this type of intervention for those individuals who just needed something, who maybe they didn't quite qualify, but they really needed something to help them lose the weight, to help them stay around longer for their family. Doctor, you, um, you um, for so many people watching right now, I know you know this because you see these people every day, but a lot more people are watching you right now, and I know they're um, there's reason for hope, and not that it means it's for everyone, but it means there's a discussion to be had with your physician. Absolutely. And there's information that needs to be gained. And we've been putting up information throughout the program so that people can get more for themselves. And I want to thank you for joining us and, and to share everything that you did. Um, Dr. Sohal Sheikh with St. Joseph's uh, Healthcare System, a gastroenterologist in general, but your, your expertise is interventional bariatric and uh, endoscopy. Correct. I want to thank you for what you do, uh, not just from a clinical point of view, but um, with the empathy and compassion and caring, uh, which is so important beyond the clinical side. So thank you, doctor. Thank you, Steve. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. One on one, we'll be right back right after this. Stay with us. Thank you, doctor. One on one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Investors Bank, New Jersey Natural Gas, Celgene Corporation, the law firm of Gibbons PC, New Jersey Sharing Network, Josh S. Weston, and by Choose New Jersey. Promotional support provided by The Star Ledger, powering NJ.com, and by Commerce Magazine. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.